He says, but I don't want you to ever think like that we didn't love each other enough or we didn't spend enough time with one another because you regret that every day. He says, it's okay. <laughs> hey, it's Matt Frazier and I'm backstage right now at the Kelly Clarkson Show. And I gotta tell you, I'm seeing a lot more than just the living people. I'm looking down the hallway here and there are a ton of dead people. So we're gonna see who's here. First of all, it's funny cause like just how you're all lined up here before we start the show, like your loved ones are lined up on the other side. And right away, like your grandmother is here stepping forward, letting you know that she's here and with you. And she's like so proud of you when I'm connecting with her. And I gotta tell you, her fondest memories of you were when you were just a little girl. Cause she tells me that you used to stay with her and like she used to take care of you back when you were younger. Cause she showed me like you being younger and like her touching your hair and the things that she used to do with you. She says, and I want you to know, she says that I've been watching over you ever since my departure. She says, so please let her know that I am okay. And that more importantly, she knows that you think about her every day. Because she says to me that you think about her in the car and you think about her when you're driving. She says, I want you to know that I'm right there. This is my phone screen. You can't see because I have text. This is my grandma. Aww. Oh my God. So, I so no, it's her way of just acknowledging that. And do you take it out and just talk to her or talk to that picture? Know that your grandmother knows that you have that phone. And I got to tell you, your brother's here. And because he kept saying like, that's my sister. And he's a hot shit when I'm connecting with him on the other side. How old was he when he departed? Yeah, maybe like 44. 44 when he passed. But when I'm connecting with him, it's funny because your brother looks younger to me. Like, <laughs> he looks so much younger when I'm connecting with him. I feel like he never grew up to be like 44. Like, I feel like he always just stayed with the times when I'm speaking to him. <laughs> and he says to me, can I just have your hand for a minute? He says to me, the first thing that he wants you to know is sorry for everything that you had to witness with his departure because it all happened so quickly. And he passed in tragedy here in the physical world. So your brother says to me that the first thing that he wants you to know is that not only he's here, but also he wants to thank you for stepping forward and keeping the family together here in the physical world. He tells me you were just like going through pictures of him or like looking at pictures of him. Because he talks about the collage. Are you making the collage? It's all right. And did you, wait a minute. And he's telling me, did you ever get the tattoo in memory of him? <laughs> no, but I was going to he's, for my birthday. He said, you better not get that tattoo. <laughs> he, says, my, he says, my sister needs to stop. He says, trying to remember me in all these ways. He says, you've already done so much. And he's acknowledging that. He says, all I want, he says, is for you to know that I am at peace. Your family was very religious here in the physical world. So I'm connecting with him. He says, listen, I believed in God. I believed in the other side. He says, and I want you to know that I am okay because he's acknowledging that to me. You know, I know that there was an age difference between the two of you here in the physical world. He says, but I don't want you to ever think like that we didn't love each other enough or we didn't spend enough time with one another because you regret that every day. He says, it's okay. <laughs> he says, listen, this is why he's coming through. You know, he tells me that you think all the time about his departure. And you've been suffering with this for so long. And this is just your way to know that you can live life again and that he's here. He really is here. And he stinks when I'm connected with him. He's got all this cologne on when I'm speaking to him. What was with mixing the colognes or wearing all different colognes? Yo, this is freaking wild. Because <laughs> he's got like all of these bottles that he's mixed. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm having like Old Spice and like Pierre Cardin, like all these weird things that he smells like. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? He when like he would own like 17 bottles of Bond and all these other like expensive like colognes and like layer them on. Like that's what I'm saying. Like that's <laughs> wild. This is freaking wild. Your grandfather's stepping forward and when I'm connecting with him, he told me there was heart issues that he was dealing with here in the physical world. What was the heart issues or the heart problems? I don't know if that's my grandfather or my dad. Oh, your dad also departed? My dad uh, died from a heart attack. That would be who it is. Because when I'm connecting, I start to feel things. And I just felt like my heart started to fluctuate. And then he said to me, I, like, I felt like he almost died years earlier, but then was able to recover from this. So in other words, they were keeping an eye on his heart. Do you understand that? How long ago did your dad depart? 10 years. I got to tell you, I, he's making me step forward and speak because I feel like there's still a mystery over his passing. Meaning that even though that your dad had died, he said to me, I never expected to die at this time. You know, your dad tells me that he was sick that whole week. I know what had happened. He just said to me that he was, that he had just gone to the doctors, or was just at the doctors, like I felt like that week or the week prior, before he had died. Because he said to me, go ahead. He was not 
here in LA with my family. And he died unexpectedly when I got back. And my mom that day, he had, he had been saying that he had been having pains in his chest all week. And my mom said, when you get back, I'm going to take you to the doctor. And he had never made it? And he never made it. Because your dad says to me that you think about this all the time and you think, well, maybe if we got him to the doctor sooner, there was something that could have been done. You ask your father all the time, or you say to him, I wish I could hug him one more time. Your dad just asked me to give you a hug from him. I know That's that he is with you. The biggest thing that when I think of him is I think of his hugs. He said that to and me. And I feel like every time I think about him, I like hug him in my mind. He said to me, you ask him all the time, can I just want one more hug with him? So for him to make me come over here and hug you, it's his way of just acknowledging that and letting you know that, you know, he is so proud of you. Oh, and there's one other thing. He reaches you in music. So if you hear music that oh reminds you of him, <laughs> that's his way of just letting you know that he's there. Because he said to me, like, I have, he plays songs that has songs in memory of me. For my, like, me and my sister, it's like we hear him through music. Well, thank you for letting me channel him for you. You know, and I hope that brings you a little bit of healing knowing that he's with your grandfather as well. So we haven't even started the show yet, so we could go and do that now. This is crazy. I just walked out of my dressing room right now, and then literally there's like a line full of dead people wanting to talk. So we're going to go get start the show, and uh, we'll see you on the Kelly Clarkson Show. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.